is Mr. Cadella, and today I'm going to show you how to use the drawing tools in Google Drawing, and the same tools are in Google Slides, but we'll go down to Google Drawing. We'll go to my More menu, click on Google Drawing. Now when this opens up, you can retitle it just by clicking on the title up here. Now I have these different tools that have popped up here. First, if you ever make a mistake, you can click on Control-Z, or you can click on Control-Y to redo it. I'm going to go ahead and click on my line tool here. I'll click drag let go of that click and now I have my line I can change that line I can change the color right here I can also change how thick it is right here I can also change it into a dotted or dash line right here I can even change the ends of the line maybe I want to put an arrow or a dot on the end of the line so you can do all sorts of different things to this line next thing I'm going to show you is this little arrow menu that drops down different options for your line so I'll go ahead and click on polyline this is a real nice tool. Every time I click, it makes a point, and it will connect once I get back to the starting point, so I can make different shapes. I can, now I can also fill in this shape with different colors. I'm going to come up here to the fill color. I can change the different colors here. You can also click on custom colors. Click here, and it gives me a different palette. Click OK. Again, you can change the line as well. I'm going to come up here and show you another tool. Here's the scribble tool. It gives you curves as well instead of the polyline which only gives you straight lines. There you go. And again you can change the different colors of lines so forth and so on. Next thing I want to show you is this. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my arrow tool. Now I can click on different things and move them around or if I want to I can click on multiple things at a time. There's a couple ways you can do that. I can click on this shape here, hold down the shift button, click on this line here. Now both of those will move around. Or I can even use my arrow buttons to move those around. There's another way you can select things. If I click and drag, it selects anything that was inside that box. So if I click and drag here, it only selects those two shapes. Anytime you want to get rid of something, you just select it and press the backspace or delete key. Next thing I'm going to show you is the shape tool. It's right up here. If I click on shapes, it gives me lots of different shapes here, lots of different symbols. I'll go ahead and just click on a circle. If I click and drag, I can make a circle. But notice I can also make ovals with it too. If I hold down the shift button as I drag, it'll keep it a perfect circle, just like that. I let go. Now you can also, again, you can change the color of the line around the edge. You can also change the fill, just like that. You can change the width of the line around it. And what's neat is you can also add letters and words and numbers on the inside of it. If I just double click real quickly on the inside, you see that it allows me to start typing inside that shape. The other thing I want to show you is, under your shapes, you have different kinds of shapes that do different kinds of things. I'm going to grab a shape right here. Now you notice it has this little yellow node. Some of the shapes have that. That means you can adjust that shape even more. Now notice this shape ended up being just like this one, but I can go ahead and change that as well. If I go back to my shapes, you'll notice I have all sorts of arrows. I have callouts. Let's use one of these. I'm going to have this callout right here. And again, I can change the shape just by clicking on the different nodes. These squares do lots of different things here, so you can change the shape. Last thing I want to show you is under your shapes and callouts. Notice you have different kinds of really the same kind of shape so you don't have to change it as much as you might need to. The next thing I want to show you is the text box. I'll just click on text box right here, click and drag. Now I can just start typing in different words, letters, numbers. You can also change the look of these. You can change the font, so forth and so on. There's another way you can do this as well. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. You can insert word art. Come down here, click on insert word art. Type in hello. Now this is a little different from the text box. 
that was here. When you insert word art right there under insert, now you can add different colors to it pretty quickly. You have an outline you can do. Again, you can still change the font. So this just is a little bit more artistic. Go ahead and get rid of this. The other thing I want to show you is you can insert other images. Now, you can see I can upload it from the computer. I can search it. I can go to Google Drive again. I'm going to go ahead and upload it from the computer. Now you see I have a picture of the Mona Lisa. I can move it to the edge of this drawing. When I click on the background, I can even use these lines to move the background so it fits perfectly. But if I don't want to, I can just keep it like this. Now, if I right click on the background, it also let me change the background different colors. Come over here and change the background different colors and I can add different things to it. One thing I do want to show you is how to arrange things. So let's say I want to add a call out. I'm going to put this right here. Maybe she's saying something. I'll go back to my arrow tool so I can move it around. I'm going to change this so it looks like she's talking. But let's say if I had this problem. Let's say I had this shape behind there. And it was stuck behind there. All I have to do is come back up to Arrange after I've clicked on that shape. And I can bring it to the front or bring it forward. I'm just going to bring it all the way to the front. There. Now it's in front. And again, I can double click on it and just start typing. Now I can change the shape of this picture. I can also rotate it by clicking on this little node right here. I'll rotate it around if I want to. The other thing I can do is I can go to Format Options. I can click on Recolor. I can recolor it if I want to. Maybe like that. I can do adjustments like this. Brightness. I can make it transparent if I want to. Change the brightness and the contrast. I can add a drop shadow, reflection to it. Lots of different things you can do. You can experiment with it. I can even crop this image. Let's say, I go back to the original Mona Lisa here. I just want to crop her head. I can click on crop. I can even click on a shape for the crop. I click on a circle. You got to be careful not to click on the blue control, but it's the black control. There. Move this over. Double click in the middle. Now I have just her head there.